Malcolm Burroughs, principal of Dundas Lawyers. Dundas Lawyers is an award-winning corporate, technology, intellectual property but law firm based in Brisbane that also passionately litigates in these areas of practice. So my interest in technology comes from a full background in entrepreneurialism in IT commercialisation. But in this video today, I'm going to discuss some general uh, legal principles that are going to be involved in artificial intelligence, an overview of what we consider these key legal issues to be, and the recent approaches of the European Union on this point. So just what is artificial intelligence or AI? The Oxford Dictionary provides a helpful definition. They describe artificial intelligence as the theory and development of computer systems are able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence and judgment such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. The advent of AI proposes some exciting times, but it's also likely to pose some conceptually challenging legal issues, ranging from uh, ownership, liability, of course competition and consumer law, intellectual property and data ownership. I'll discuss each of these issues briefly. <coughs> Excuse me. Ownership. We consider that ownership is perhaps a threshold legal issue for artificial intelligence. Why is this? The question is, who owns the AI program? Who's liable when something goes wrong? There are already open source platforms, for example, which contain what we call artificial intelligence engines that allow for the responses of users to be developed based on past responses, thus exhibiting the tra some of the common traits of artificial intelligence. The, the open source AI engine is contributed towards by the developers who develop it, whereas other AI software may be proprietary and is likely to be owned by its developer. Now consider the issue of liability in this case. So consider where a, a robot in the future, powered by AI, makes a mistake. Um, if they take the role of a lawyer and provide incorrect legal advice, does liability fall on the owner of the robot, the person who wrote the software, or the client who might not have asked the right question to elicit the right response. There could be a fourth alternative, the robot itself. Could the robot be liable if eventually they have a legal personality, as it would seem like the European Union is alluding to? What about competition and consumer law? If a robot's providing goods or services under the Australian consumer law, or as a product in itself, it may fail a consumer guarantee, because it might not be fit for purpose, for example or it may mis uh, engage in misleading and deceptive conduct itself. What about intellectual property? AI may challenge the traditional notions of copyright and patent law. If a robot, for example, assists uh, to write something which is a literary work or contributes towards a patent, would it become a joint owner of a literary work or a joint inventor of the patent? Or would its, uh, would its beneficial owner become that person? Imagine the, the, taking that scenario further can a robot initiate legal proceedings on its own? Imagine that. Mr. Robot against the inventor. And can you imagine the issues associated with that, particularly if Mr. Robot became a self-represented litigant? The mind boggles. The next further issue is ownership of data. Um, if a robot collects personal information, for example, under the Australian Privacy Act, how can the user be guaranteed that this data would be protected? Taking a perhaps more comical approach, Perhaps robots and AI systems will need data breach response plans. A robot might, might even be, have to make an assessment of whether there is an eligible data breach by calculating the likelihood of serious harm to affected individuals. We say this, of course, in jest. However, it does give rise to some serious questions which the law will have to deal with, with the advent of artificial intelligence. So what's happened in the European Union? The EU has been discussing a legal framework for AI and robotics in, in over the last year. The EU Legal Affairs Committee asked the EU Commission to create a framework which considers legal issues relating to artificial intelligence. Following this, a report was tabled which made recommendations on civil law rules for robotics. I'm sure that AI will create many legal issues to be considered as its use becomes more mainstream in society. So if you're looking for a proactive technology lawyer to advise you on any aspect of artificial intelligence and how the law might evolve and how you can use it, Please don't hesitate to contact me on 3221 0013 for an obligation free and confidential discussion. Thanks for watching this video.